You asked for it over and over again. So today I'm gonna to give you a tour of Wesley Chapel. Hey everybody, Melanie Atkinson here, Realtor with Smith & Associates in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I'm gonna to feature one of the most asked about cities in the whole Tampa Bay area, Wesley Chapel. So why does everybody ask about it? Well, it has a lot of affordable homes, new construction options, fun things to do, good schools, and it's not too far away from downtown. So let's go through the pros and cons of living in Wesley Chapel. Pro number one, tons of new construction options. If you like new construction homes, this might be the city for you. There are tons of neighborhoods currently under construction and a whole bunch more that have been constructed within the last five years. So if you like houses that have newer floor plans, save you money on energy costs and save money on insurance costs as well, then Wesley Chapel should have a lot of options for you. And some of Tampa Bay's most active and popular builders are building in Wesley Chapel. I'll mention a couple, but this is by no means a complete list because there are tons. Taylor Morrison is building in the large neighborhood of Watergrass. They're also building in Chapel Chase, Esplanade at Wiregrass, which is a 55 and up community, and River Landing, which is a new community that's coming soon. GL Homes, which is finishing up the community of the Ridge at Wiregrass, is starting a new community called Winding Ridge. Both of these are located in really great locations. Lennar Homes is currently building in two large and desirable communities, Estancia and Epperson. I personally love the location of Estancia as it sits a bit farther south and closer to the shops that we'll be talking about in a bit. Epperson is very well known because it is a Crystal Lagoon community. What is a Crystal Lagoon? Well, it's a giant seven and a half acre pool that has a beach area, a floating obstacle course, a place to rent paddle boards, a swim up bar and more. Basically, it's an awesome amenity that gives you the best of both a pool and a beach without the salt water. There are a bunch of builders in Epperson, including Pulte Homes, Miranda, Biscayne, Dear Horton, and MI Homes. MI Homes is also building in Westbridge, Mooresbridge Manors, and they have a townhouse community called Windermere Estates. Besides Epperson, DR Horton is also building single family homes and townhomes in a community called Union Park, which I love, and a villa community called Stonebrook Villas. So I didn't even name them all, and as you can see, there are a ton of options for new construction in Wesley Chapel, and most of these are located in these really great neighborhoods with lots of amenities. Which brings me to my first con, CDD fees. If you haven't had a chance to watch the episode that I have called CDD fees, please take some time to watch that. It'll give you a more detailed explanation about what they are. So many of these beautiful large neighborhoods in Wesley Chapel have tons of amenities, but those amenities tend to come with higher CDD fees. The CDD is a bond taken out by the developer of the community that pays for the infrastructure, the construction of the amenities, and the maintenance of the amenities. This bond is paid back by the homeowners, you, over a course of 20 to 30 years. And as the homeowner, you pay this bond back on your property taxes every year. CDD fees vary within communities and between communities, but it's not unusual to see them over $2,000 a year. And yes, it may stink to have to pay $2,000 more on your property taxes a year, but if you're the type of person who's going to use those community amenities, then it's actually money well spent. Now, if you're not one of those people, I would probably tell you to look for a community that does not have such high fees. Now, keep in mind that CDD fees are popular throughout the Tampa Bay area, so Wesley Chapel is not alone in having CDD fees. What brings a lot of people to Wesley Chapel over other places is the affordable prices of the homes, which brings me to my pro number two, affordable home prices. At this time in mid 2020, the median price for a single family home, about 2,400 square feet, is around $350,000 in Wesley Chapel. And the median price for a 1,600 square foot townhouse in Wesley Chapel is around $225,000. There's obviously a wide range of prices within Wesley Chapel, but a lot of people find that even with their mortgage, the CDD fees, Wesley Chapel is still an affordable place to live. Now there's one more thing I wanna talk about regarding housing, and that brings me to my con number two, builder competition. With all of the new construction happening now and lots of land for more, there's tons of room for Wesley Chapel to grow. If you buy one of these new communities and you think you're gonna to have to sell your house within a couple years, there's a good chance that you're gonna be competing against a builder whenever you go to sell that house. 
It can be hard to sell a used home when a builder is offering incentives and warranties and a brand new shiny home. Plus, you may have to live with lots of construction going on around you and all the noise and nails in your tires that come with that. When picking a new construction home, remember to focus on more than just how much house you can get for your money. The lower price houses tend to be in locations that are less desirable. And what is the number one rule in real estate? Location, location, location. So let's now talk about Wesley Chapel's location, which in my opinion has both pros and cons. Wesley Chapel is located in Pasco County, about 20 to 28 miles from downtown Tampa, depending on where you live within Wesley Chapel. It's just north of the new Tampa area in Hillsborough County, which is home to the University of South Florida, Moffitt Cancer Center, the VA Hospital, Bush Gardens, and tons of shops, professional services, and restaurants. Wesley Chapel is between 30 to 35 miles from Tampa International Airport and the International Mall. It's about 50 to 55 miles from Clearwater Beach and approximately 70 miles from Walt Disney World. The southern portion of Wesley Chapel starts right where I-75 and I-275 merge together, both of which bring you to I-4, so there is good access to main highways that will take you to all of the places I just talked about. You also have the east-west state roads 54 and 56, which can take you to the main highways and also to other neighboring cities like Land Lakes, Odessa, and Zephyr Hills. Wesley Chapel has a nice location with access to all of the locations I just talked about, pro. But it isn't exactly close to any of these except for the new Tampa area I talked about, con. So if you work in downtown Tampa or near the airport, you're going to have a pretty long commute. And there are a lot of commuters that live in Wesley Chapel, so during rush hour, the main roads that you're traveling on get very congested and backed up. The area where I-4 merges with I-275 is lovingly referred to as Malfunction Junction because it is one of the most troublesome spots in the whole Tampa Bay area for backups. So if you have to commute south, I advise people to try to do that during non-rush hours, but if that's not possible, to pack some patience because it's not unusual for that commute to take over an hour. So here's one big pro to Wesley Chapel's location that all of you out there that are concerned about hurricanes will love. Because Wesley Chapel is located so far away from the beaches, it is not in an evacuation zone, and most of the homes there will also not require flood insurance. Now that doesn't mean that you're completely protected from hurricane wind damage, it just means that because of the distance and elevation of Wesley Chapel, you are far less likely than other areas to have water damage from flooding. Now you don't always need to drive to other cities to have fun things to do. There's plenty to do within Wesley Chapel and lots of places to eat and drink. For those of you who like a good bargain, the Tampa Premium Outlets is located right off I-275 and State Road 56. This outlet mall has tons of name brand stores to shop in, including Brooks Brothers, Ann Taylor, Coach, Nike, Adidas, Forever 21, Banana Republic, Michael Kors, Saks Fifth Avenue, and tons more. And for all of you Costco lovers out there, and I know there's a lot of you, there's a Costco right across from the outlet mall. And just down the street is the popular outdoor shopping mall called the Shops at Wiregrass. This popular spot is where you will find national department stores, including Macy's and Dillard's, along with smaller boutiques and name brands such as Hollister, Pottery Barn, Victoria's Secret, Lane Bryant, Justice, and American Eagle, just to name a few. There are also a ton of restaurants to enjoy a bite to eat or a cocktail. A little farther north up on State Road 54 is the Grove at Wesley Chapel. This is a large shopping area that includes big box stores like World Market, Bed Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, and a whole bunch more. The Grove also has a cop movie theater, and there have been recent reports about the owner of the Grove expanding and putting in a lot more entertaining and dining options in there. I don't have a ton of details on it, but stay tuned. And if you like thrill rides and don't want to go to Orlando, Wesley Chapel is only about 25 minutes away from the amusement park of Bush Gardens and the water park Adventure Island. And for all of you moving from up north and are afraid that you're not going to have a place to ice skate here in Florida, Wesley Chapel has the biggest ice skating arena in the area. The Advent Health Center Ice Complex has multiple sheets of ice. They have tons of camps, classes, leagues for kids to adults. They also have a full restaurant and bar. And don't worry about the proximity of grocery stores, professional services, or restaurants. There are tons all throughout Wesley Chapel. So the last pro that I will talk about regarding Wesley Chapel are the schools. I always preface my school discussions with the following disclosures. 
School grades can change, school zones can change, and what you consider a good school may not be what I consider a good school. So do your research. But in a general sense, if I'm looking solely at the Florida State school grades, most of the schools within Wesley Chapel have an A or a B school grade. So if I were to wrap up Wesley Chapel into a short summary, I would say this. It's a lovely Tampa suburb that has a lot of housing options, including new homes in beautiful neighborhoods. There is a lot to do within Wesley Chapel and nearby, but if you have to commute to work or you love the beach, you are gonna have a longer drive, especially during rush hours. But just like every city, there are pros and cons. Thank you all for watching this episode. If you're looking for something else to watch on my channel, check out the video that I did about four new construction communities right down the street from Wesley Chapel in Odessa. Thanks again, with love, Melanie.